Hey guys how are you i hope you are doing well in your life myself vikrant and i welcome you back to dev town so in the previous video we had seen how this keyframe animation or with the help of these animations keyframe particularly how we can achieve a variety of animations very easily with the help of limited properties so in this video also we are going to continue that part with the help of some another properties or we will try out some different kind of animation in this video and also in the in the last of this video i will show you how we can use this animation with the help of one shorthand property in which you don't need to write out write write out whole properties uh, instead of that we can use all all property in one line itself so let's get started So yeah so guys here i am back with my previous code only so for those who are new to the video and haven't watched the part 1 please watch the part 1 and after that just come come on to this part 2 so that you will understand what was the previous properties that we have used and what was this code so it's a very simple code so let me just explain you a bit so we have previously taken one div one container and inside that container we have taken another div so we have just renamed it by class name box and what we have done we have just uh, took a background color of yellow for the outer div and a orange color background for our box and we have given them a certain height and width also a margin and position relative and after that we have performed this animation thing over them so all this property i have explained in the video in the part 1 but if you still don't like if you still don't have any idea then watch this video i will able to get the things and let us get started so in today's video what i wanted to show you is we can perform these things like uh, differently also let's say i was talking about progress bar or instead of progress bar i can say if i want to change my boxes position from over the axis or let's say i want to rotate my box in a square shape so for that what we can do so right now you guys know that i have given a position of relative to my box and yeah i can move the box according to like according to the animation but how so let's say i am performing some kind of animation on 0% okay and after that i will perform some kind of animation on let's say 25% so on 25% i will perform some different animation after that we have 75% of my animation and the last one is 100% of animation so what i want whenever my animation is getting started i want it to show different different things on let's say my animation is completed at 0% so right now it is in the starting phase so what i want i want my top position to be 0 and also my left position to be 0 and why i am passing on this top and left because we have given the position as relative so we can change uh, the the let's say boxes position according to the uh, top left right and bottom properties so on 25% what i want my top to be 250 pixels and my left to be 0 pixel so on 25% i want my box to go little bit of down okay so from top to down it is coming on 25% and let's say on 75% what i want i want my top to be remain same that is 250 pixel and i i now i want my box to go towards right if i want my box to move towards right i need to pass this property which is left property along with that we have 100% so after completing the 100% what i want uh i again want my box to have a top of let's say 0 pixel and a left of 250 pixel yeah 
i want it to be have a tip to official but uh, let us see how like it is working right now afterwards we can make uh, make the necessary changes no issues so i am just starting the animation with this thing so yeah see whenever i am like restarting it so right now you are able to see what is happening let me just do one thing let me just decrease the speed so duration will make it as 10 second let's say and let me just do one thing let me just sp split my screen into equal parts and yeah yes so right now it is splitted so let me just save it again so i have restarted it let's say now it is working just look at this left and then it will go to top okay down okay it is repeating two times let me make it one times only i am just saving it top to down okay from left okay okay and from left to it is going back to the top position so yeah so that's the thing actually see what is happening whenever i am passing on this thing uh i think i have given the reverse thing only uh, here so that's why i think it it is getting reverse okay so that's the thing so you guys should be aware of what you are doing at the time of like writing program so yeah so right now it it is working properly so you guys might be thinking why it is not coming out of the allo box so just because we have given the height of 300 pixel let's see if i am giving it a height of 300 pixel to same to this 300 pixel 300 pixel okay and my 100% should be 300 pixel okay so i'm just saving it see right now it is coming to bottom it is going on right side then it will go to top and it will come to its it will come back to its original position okay so that's the thing so what we can do along with this is let's say i am passing on some 50% I want my uh, work to be done in three phases. So, what I will do? I will just pass on these properties to here. First, I want my box to move from top to bottom, then right, then up, then back to its normal position. So, on seventy-five percent, my box will be uh, at this position. Okay. So, at this position, what we can do? We can just keep our top this and left is I guess uh, it's okay. And this thing is zero pixel. Let us see how it is looking like now. see bottom right is going up and then it will come back to its original position yeah so right now you are able to see that see that how my transition is working like really really properly so if i haven't given this 0% so then also it is fine i guess yeah see top bottom okay okay so for 0% i need to give that thing just because just i want wanted to make it smooth so that's why yeah so that's the thing it will hold on uh, to that zero position zero percent position for some time so right now it is working very properly yeah so in this way we can perform the animation with the help of this percentage thing and also there is one uh, short hand that i wanted to show you guys so yeah let me just show you with by the help let me just remove this first first of all animation name okay so let me just uh do one thing i will type it out for you here that in html page okay loan shoes so see first of all we need to write one animation thing here and i have some properties over that for that so first property is animation name that we need to pass on okay so second property is animation uh duration that we need to pass on in a single line only we are doing this okay the third thing is animation timing function okay the fourth thing that i want to pass is animation delay okay and after that i need to pass on let's say animation iteration count so animation okay first of all animation iteration count and later on we need to pass on animation field mode 
these all properties we have seen in our first video so no issues for that scene mode and yeah so yeah these are the only properties that we have so how to write this basically so let me just remove this for first of all and i have attached this thing in the my in my animation in the ppt itself so yeah you can just go, go to the pdf that i have attached in our description and you are able to you will get that thing like how like what i am whatever i am writing in the code so yeah let us just uh, write that thing in my css itself so instead of uh, this animation and writing different different properties i can simply write animation see first of all see whenever you are writing this thing on on vs code you are able to see that you will get on whole the whole of all of properties let's say i am writing animation see on entering i am able to see that my name duration timing function delay iteration all the thing is available here in vs code so that's why i like vs code spe uh, especially see uh, i want to give the name of devtown here if i am giving some different name then this keyframes will not get applied to my particular box here i want my duration so my duration i want is 10 second and in timing function i want let's say is in is in out i can say is in out is best delay i don't want a delay so delay of 0 second we can give here iteration count i want count i want is one only direction i want is a uh, alternate so that's the forward direction and in field mode i can pass on let's say backwards yeah so these are the only things that we need to pass on see instead of writing that whole thing different properties we can pass on our animation in single line so let's say i'm saving this first of all let me just separate out my screen in two call two equal parts see i am right now saving this see in 10 seconds in 10 seconds right now my animation is getting completed see coming back to its normal position yeah so in this way you can uh you are able to make the smooth animations so that is all about keyframes animation that uh, are present in css if you want to try out more things then uh, like keep connected with our devtown channel and if you are liking the content and if you are new to the channel then do subscribe our channel and do share the content with your friends and family so i hope you guys have gotten the idea and with that i will take your leave and i will see you in next session until then thank you so much